Okay, let me ask you guys a question. So um, imagine you've got an infinite number of these bricks. Imagine these uh, these wooden bricks or or in 3D. So you've got an infinite number of these wooden bricks. Um, the question is, is it possible to build a bridge from one end of the table all the way across to the other end, or is it going to come to some sort of limits where where it cannot go beyond a certain magical number? Okay, so so the question is, is it possible to build a bridge all the way across? So, for example, uh, this is our first brick here. Uh, come, uh, you, you're going to place your your second brick. So, so for the second brick, for the second brick, the center of mass of the second brick is right here at this dot. Um, if you um, if you place the brick, the second brick, too far to the left, then um, then then you can then you can see then you can see that this is going to topple. Um, it's, it's hard to explain what's going on here. If you can, um, if you've got some bricks at home, play around with those bricks because it's really hard to explain. Um, explain what's going on. Bear with me. Um, and then, uh, so so you can place a second brick somewhere around here. You see, the center of mass of the second brick is right is right here, and it's on the edge. So uh, so theoretically, it won't collapse. It won't topple. Uh, but then come your third brick. If you uh, if you place it too far to the left, um, if you place a third brick too far to the left, then 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 you can see. Hopefully you can see it's going to topple. So the 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 question is: Is it possible to build a bridge from one end of the table all the way all the way across to the other end of the table? You see, if you if if it's possible for you to play around with these blocks, um, the secret to doing this is rather than working from from the bottom upwards. You you should be working from the top downwards. Uh, th th there is a difference. It's hard to um, it's hard to explain in words. But if you if you uh, play around with it, then then you can see there is a difference. But as as it stands, um, explaining it in words can be quite difficult. So hang on. So uh, bear with me. So uh, so rather than building, rather than working from the bottom from the bottom upwards, we are we are now going to work from the top. Downwards, it will make sense hopefully later on. So work from the top. So hang on, bear with me. So bear with me. So this is our first brick. So um, so this is our first brick. The uh, the the center of mass of the first brick is right in the middle here. So the second brick, bear with me. The second brick would be would be the second brick. If if I place a second brick. Right there, it, it it should stand. So so now uh, now the now imagine these two bricks as being one en one new entity now. It's one entity. So now the center of mass of the combination of the two would be somewhere around here. So now if I place the uh, the third brick, hang on, uh, place a third brick uh, right right on the edge of the center of mass. Uh, it should stand. This here should stand. So now, now you've got to imagine all three as being um, as being one one entity. So now the uh, the center of mass is I'm going to guess somewhere somewhere around here. So uh, so now for the third for the fourth brick for the fourth brick um, now for the fourth brick it will be somewhere around here. So bear with me. So now the center of mass would have moved across slightly to the right. So I'm going to guess the center of mass to be, I don't know, somewhere, somewhere around here, somewhere. So now the uh, the uh, the fifth brick, the fifth brick. You see, each time I'm adding a block, uh, the the center of mass actually moves across slightly to the uh, to to the right. So uh, so now I'm going to guess the center of mass to be. Uh, it's getting hard to guess now. Uh, to be somewhere around here, because um, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing. So no, notice, uh, okay. Now. So now come the uh, sixth brick. So hang on. Uh, I'm gonna place a sixth brick somewhere. So each time I'm adding a brick, um, it's uh, it moves the center of mass to the right. So now, uh, now hang on. Now you see, if we follow this uh, this algorithm, it's not going to collapse because each time we're placing a brick dead on the center of mass of the combination of all the above. So um, so now I'm going to guess the center of mass. Uh, I don't know where it's hard to guess now. 
I'm going to guess somewhere around here. Um, so uh, so now uh, to seventh brick. So hang on, seventh brick. Seventh brick. I'm going to guess somewhere around here. So 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 you can see that. Um, hang on. You can see that already. If you look at the first brick, the end of the first brick is right here, and we've actually gone beyond. We've actually gone beyond the edge of the bottom brick. So theoretically, it should be possible to to edge away all the way across the table if you follow this this algorithm. Because each time you add a brick, you're 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 moving the uh, the center of mass to the to the right each time. So so theoretically, you should be able to edge all the way across. But my question to you is this: so so you start out with two bricks. You start out with um, hang on, bear with me, bear with me, where am I? So hang on, bear with me. So you start out with uh, with two bricks. So let let's imagine you've got a grid here. Hang on. Let's imagine you've got a, a grid here. Uh, this is your this is your x-axis. This here is your y-axis. Um, we don't care about the y-axis for for our scenario. It makes no difference where where the y where the center of mass in the y direction is. It makes no difference for our scenario. So so if if you look at this for the first brick, the center of mass is one. It's one. And then, uh, and then when you, when you add another brick, now, now you've got, you've got to consider two bricks. The center of mass, um, the center of mass is quite straightforward to work out when it's two bricks. Because it's right, it's symmetrical. So, so it's going to be right in the middle here. So if, if, if we say the length of this brick is two, let's just say the length is two for, for simplicity. We, we deliberately, um, we deliberately create the brick to have a length of two, um, for, for simplicity. Okay, so so this brick here has a length of two. So uh, so for the first brick, the center of mass will be at one because remember this is our this is our x-axis, this is our y-axis. So uh, for the first brick, it will be one. When you add the second brick, the center of mass will be here. So from here to here is one. So halfway from here to here is also one. So halfway between the center of mass of the two bricks will be plus a half, plus a half. Now, so 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 the center of mass of the of the two will be one one and a half one plus a half. So the so the center of mass is right at uh, at one and a half. Now, um, come the third brick, come the third brick here. The center of mass of the third brick is here. Um, if if I were to do uh, see this third brick here, if I were to glue this brick right here. So, so now it becomes three blocks. Um, it's definitely going to topple because, because with two bricks, with two bricks, uh, the, uh, see this arrow here is directly below, below the center of mass. So it should balance on that arrow. But if, if I add a third brick, then you know it's going to topple because there's, there's a, uh, there's a clockwise torque to, to this system. So the, not, uh, earlier the center of mass was somewhere around here. Uh, and it's directly above the arrow, but because I've added an extra brick, there's uh, the, the the torque in the uh, anti-clockwise direction is zero, and there's 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 a torque um, there's a torque on, on the uh, clockwise direction, so so it will topple. The question is, hang on, before before I give you the question, so somewhere if if I put the new arrow, if if I get rid of the old arrow, and then uh, and then looking at the new arrow. Where should I place the new arrow in order for it to stay balanced? So hang on. So if I if I put the arrow here, you know it's going to collapse to the left. If I put it, it well somewhere along here, it should there should be a, a a sweet spot where where it will balance. So hang on. Where so before hang on. So before we have this, it, it, at the moment it balances these two blocks. I'm going to add a third one, but then. Uh, but then if I add the third one, where should I place this second arrow here? You know, well, we're going to get rid of the, the first arrow. Where would be the new center, uh, center of mass, really? The, the question is, where would be the new center of mass? So, hang on. So the old, uh, the old center of mass was right here. The old center of mass was right here. I'm going to add a brick, so it's like this. Now I want you to calculate, uh, I want you to cal calculate I want you to calculate. Um, so the center of mass is for the for the two bricks is here. I want you to calculate this x distance here. 
or what the, so, so then the new center of mass for the three, three bricks will move t slightly to the right so how far to the right should it move well, wh where is the new center of mass for the three bricks so I want you to calculate the value x here how far across should we move it, uh, it uh, so, so remember the, the width is, uh, is 2 Okay, so I will tell you in the next video. Um, but think about it. Um, create, um, you, you gotta find a way to model this system in order to calculate the new center of mass. Think about it. You, um, yeah, think, think about it. So calculate this, this new distance here. How far should I move across, uh, to the right in order to, to obtain the new center of mass? Okay. I will tell you in the next video.